If you've been using Houdini on Windows, you may have noticed that there isn't really a good way of exporting small video clips out of your flipbook or mplay. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Image Magic, which will let you do that and have a bit more control over the quality and file size that you uh, export out of here. So let's jump in. So the first thing we're going to need to do is find a couple of files, specifically um, the Houdini environment variable. Uh, that's going to be in your PC documents and then whichever version of Houdini you're using. Just go ahead and open that. And we're going to add in two lines here. Um, first one is going to be PDG underscore. Uh, I think it was the name. Let's find out. Image magic dot oops equals. And then here, we're going to need a path. So what you want to do is download the Windows binary, install it, and that's going to give us a file. Let me just look it up, uh, image magic. Here in program files, go ahead and open that up. And then we're going to look for two .exe files. So we've got the ffmpeg and the magic.exe. So I'm just going to shift and right click on that just so I can get this little option, copy as path. I'll get rid of those and just paste that in. Uh, the other line is going to be pdg underscore ffmpeg equals and do the same for that one as well. So let's just find it. Where is it? Here. Shift, right click, copy as path, paste, and save. We should have now a version of magic, image magic installed. So we can go ahead and open Houdini and test it out. Render this, I'll say maybe 40. All right, export FFmpeg. And this is great, so now we can actually have a lot more control over um, what we're exporting and the quality and stuff like that because the other options are basically lossless files which are enormous, if it even works, which I have not gotten the QuickTime option to work. So. So that's it. Yeah, we can set our quality, hit export. That didn't work because I didn't set a location. Boom, go back here, open it up. And we should have a nice little file, which is very reasonably sized.